the boss is being a little reticent about my rate. So I decide to twist the knife a little bit by calling up some contracting agencies. My only worry being that if I called up a good one, I'd probably get a job. Which rather defeats the purpose of the exercise. My purpose is to make the boss wince every time there's a contracting rate review. And to rake in more dosh, of course. Bearing in mind my job prospects, I put out some feelers with a couple of the large but mostly dodgy agencies. The sort of agency that will smooth out the wrinkles in your CV before faxing them on to a prospective employer. Wrinkles like, I done DOS once, and I know how to turn my screen on, become wrote DOS from scratch, and extensive hardware support background. I expect the worst and get it. I meet my placement consultant at a local pub where he buys me a beer to prove that he's really my friend and not someone who wants a criminal percentage of my wages. So, my personally assigned, widely experienced computing professional placement consultant says, you're looking for a position in networking. Yes. What sort of experience do you have? I run through a quick synopsis of the last 10 years. Excellent. Now, have you had much experience of DOS? Why? Well, we have an excellent position in DOS consultancy at the moment. And you feel that's a networking position? I ask, already annoyed. Well, not exactly. Initially, it would be more of a help desk role. Not interested. I'm networks, not systems, and definitely not support. Ah. Oh well, it was a thought. What about VAX? VMS? DECnet? TCP IP? Dare I say it, CI? No, more in the lines of COBOL programming. Great position there, in Milton Ke- No! Very good pay. If I'd wanted to do COBOL programming, I would have said so. But I didn't. I said networking. Of course, so you did. Hardware engineering doesn't interest you? What sort of hardware? Dead terminals mainly, but when they're working they're connected to a terminal server which is on a network! He calls out as I leave the pub, drink only half finished. The boss, meanwhile, has been playing my game and has faxed out to a couple of contracting agencies himself, obviously in an effort to show me how cheaply he can get a replacement. It's sad how people delude themselves sometimes. My next few days are punctuated by offers of data entry, fill-in secretarial work, tape monkeying, etc. Which I decline. At long last, one of the agencies comes through with a price that would bring tears to the boss's eyes. I get the details and I'm thinking about it when the boss walks in. I'll take it, I say, as the boss discreetly tunes into my conversation. Take what? He asks. The job I was just offered. I reply, smiling cheesily. He rallies under the pressure and responds, And just in time, too. For what, Christmas shopping? I say, applying pressure. No, just in time for us. I've found your replacement, he gloats, shaking a wad of barely readable faxed paper. You're not serious, I say, pointing at the paper. You can't even read it. Don't need to, he smirks. I rang them and verified the details. You're not going to trust that agency, are ya? Ah, oh, they can't even place an advert properly, let alone a computing professional. That's where you're wrong, the boss snarls. They have found me someone. Far more experienced than you and only a fraction more expensive. And he starts this afternoon. Security! The moment the boss has been dreaming of for months has arrived. Escort this member of the public to the street. Don't let him touch anything and take his access keys off him at the door. He's to speak to no one and have him removed from the contractor's register immediately. Have his personal effects checked for items of the companies, then forward them on to him. Job done, he swaggers back to his office, the John Wayne of networks and systems. I am escorted to the street and hand over my access keys. I take a quick survey of the building that was once my workplace, then wander back into reception. Ding! 
Hello, I smile to the receptionist. I've just been appointed to a position as the network administrator. Could you ring my supervisor, please? Can't wait to see John Wayne's face. Or my new paycheck. Or the memo saying that as a new entry on the contractor's register, I am required to attend a paid week's worth of safety lectures. 